Hey everyone, Bridget here for a CEO update. And for this update, I'm coming to you from the campus of American University in Washington, DC. Um, myself and Sheila Royal, our Marketing Communications Coordinator, Austin Ayers, our Tribal Council Treasurer, and Everett Ekdahl, our Tribal Councilman, have spent the majority of a week attending a training through the National Congress of American Indians called Tribal Leaders Media Training and Communications Fellowship. So the goal of this training has been to understand the strategic side of communications. And what that means is um, using effective methods to get our message across or to tell our story, um, best practices behind the different methods of communication and how and when to use those. Um, and we did a lot of role playing this week. So we were put in positions of, you know, performing press conferences and crisis situations or addressing, you know, a group of tribal citizens and community members. Or, you know, another scenario was um, addressing lo a local um, union of workers planning a project on a reservation. So it's been really interesting. It's been fun. We've learned a ton. And this is really going to assist us as we, you know, develop our commu com uh, communications more, and you know, learn the most effective method to to get that out there. Um, and this is really going to assist us in our, you know, our web page update and our branding update and understanding our values and how to implement those behind our story, so people understand KBIC a little better. Um, it's been a blast. Uh, thank you, Tribal Council, for sending us here. It's we're, We can't wait to get back to the reservation and implement some of the things that we've learned. Um, I just want to touch on another training coming up um, next week for employees. Um, it's our mandatory reporter training. And this training is typically um, on an end, a three-year rolling basis. So anyone that goes through this training is, is retrained every three years to keep them fresh. Um, and mandatory reporter training is really for, you know, employees who supervise or are, have authority over um, and are required by law to report child abuse and neglect. So those are people in those positions, um, such as child care workers, uh, law enforcement, health care, health center workers, and, you know, people in the judicial system. So it's really important that we provide this training and, you know, we kind of fell off because of COVID, they weren't offering it. So now we found an outlet and we're, we're going to offer it to our employees. So that's March 24th in the Ojibwe Casino Conference Room beginning at 10 a.m. Um, but I really just wanted to do this update this week to provide um, you know, some remarks on the behalf of um, our chief, the passing of our Chief Judge, uh, William Bill Jondro. Um, he was a pillar, pillar in our community I'm going to miss him so much. Uh, he's been very influential in my life. He was someone I looked up to as a mentor. He inspired and motivated me throughout my life growing up. In my, and now in my work life, he was constantly sending me, you know, you know, comments of inspiration. Um, and, you know, the best thing he ever did for me was challenge me. He really challenged me. He, he gave me questions like, what would you do in this scenario? What if this happens? So that's what I really appreciated about him. He just really wanted the best for everyone, especially our youth. I mean, he dedicated his time and efforts towards volunteering and, you know, making our community better. That was his goal in life. And I think if there's anything we can take away from Bill is that, that servant mindset, you know, not looking for what's in it for me, but just looking for the best of your community, the best for others. And that's what, that's what, that's the mark he left within our community, I feel. Um, Bill and I shared a passion for sports. Um, he was constantly in my office and we'd talk about the weekend and, you know, different, different games that happened, whether it was the Packers or the Steelers or NMU or the Berga Vikings. We were always talking about, especially this time of the year, talking about the Vikings and their run to the state championship game. Um, and just, he's just someone I'm just going to miss so much. He was, I can't, I can't express it enough. So um, my thoughts and prayers are with his family and his boys and his, and um, his fiance. So, um, just, I want to thank everyone for tuning in this week. Um, stay healthy. Take care.